Ever wonder how language influences the way we see the world? Through the Language Glass covers everything from how color terms affect our perception of color to how grammatical gender influences the way we categorize people and things. This is part four of the Linguistics Starter Pack, my top recommendations for books to read if you're interested in linguistics but don't want to read a textbook. In 1858, the same year that Darwin published his theory of evolution, William Gladstone published a work arguing that the ancient Greeks saw the world in black and white. He discovered that the ancient Greek poets like Homer rarely used color words, and when they did, they used them in strange ways. Homer uses words like the wine dark sea or the violet sea, and he describes black sheep as having violet wool. He also says that people's faces are green with fear. What's going on? Languages develop their color terms over time, and ancient Greek hadn't developed most of its color terms yet. Moreover, when color terms do develop in a language, they always develop in a predictable order. The reason for this is a combination of influences from from cognition and culture. But the influence goes in the other direction as well. Speakers who have a word for a color are more quickly able to recognize that color in experiments. This is just one of the many captivating topics that's explored in Through the Language Glass. If you'd like to buy a copy and support my content at the same time, you can do so through the link in my profile. I'll get a small commission and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So thanks for supporting my content.